Hi and welcome to Shosa's classes. Today we are going to be dealing with some very interesting questions on physical sciences. You can WhatsApp or call us for any doubts, questions or for full videos on our courses. Let's see the first question. A particle in one dimension is in the potential fx such that it is in equals to infinity if x less than 0 minus v0 when x lies between 0 and 1 and if x is greater than 1 it tends to 0 if there is at least one bound state the minimum depth of the potential is among the following let's see how to do this first we calculate the ground state energy which has the formula f delta equals to h square pi square by 2 ml square for bound state v0 plus e less than 0 or v0 is less than minus e or minus v0 is greater than e which is equals to h square pi square by 2 ml square hence minus v0 must be h square pi square by ml square which is option number d which of the following quantities is Lorentz invariant among the following options a b c and d the quantity e square minus b square is the Lorentz invariant which is option number b moving on the vector potential a due to uh, magnetic moment m at a point r is given by a equals to m into r by r cube if m is directed along the positive z axis the x component of the mag magnetic field at point r is let's see how to calculate this a equals to m into r by r cube which equals m k cap into x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap whole divided by r cube therefore a equals m by r cube into x j cap minus y i cap now let's find the magnetic field b equals to nabla into a therefore i cap j cap k cap d by dx delta by delta x sorry d by dy and d by dz the next will be 0 mx by r cube and for i it is minus my by r cube this equals minus d by dz m x r cube which equals minus mx d delta by delta z 1 by r cube thus b equals minus mx into minus 3 by r to power 4 into z by r which equals to 3 m xz by r to power 5 that is option number C moving on to another question now the next question is very important 
a system has two normal modes of vibration with frequency omega 1 and omega 2 equals to 2 omega 1. Now we need to figure out what is the probability that at temperature i the system has an energy less than 4h omega 1. In the following x equals to e to power minus beta h omega 1 and z is the partition function of the system. Let's figure out the probability. Therefore p equals to 2 e to power minus b h omega 1 plus e minus b h omega 2 plus e minus b h omega 1 whole divided by z. Now p equals 2e minus b to power e to power minus b h omega 1 plus e minus 2 b h omega 1 plus e minus b h omega 1 whole divided by z this equals x to power half 1 plus 2x square whole divided by z thus x equals to e to power minus bh omega 1 therefore option number c is the correct answer in the next question we have Bose condensation occurs in liquid helium 4 kept at ambient pressure at 2.17 kelvin at which temperature will Bose condensation occur in helium 4 in gaseous state the density of which is 100 times smaller than that of liquid helium we have to assume that it is a perfect Bose gas therefore let's see how to do this Tc is directly proportional to rho 2 by 3 therefore Tc1 by Tc2 equals rho 1 2 by 3 rho 2 2 by 3 but also remember rho 1 equals to 1000 rho 2 which is liquid helium therefore putting in the values 2.17 by Tc2 equals to 1000 2 by 3 rho 2 2 by 3 whole divided by rho 2 2 by 3 or Tc2 equals to 2.17 whole divided by 100 or Tc2 equals to 21.7 into 10 to power minus 3 which is equals to 21.7 in the Kelvin and this corresponds with option number B with this we come to an end of another great video please like subscribe and click on the notification button you can call us or whatsapp at the number given on the screen for any doubts questions or for full videos on our courses